My name is Billy Bing Robinson. And I was born May the 10th, 1920. And I was soon going to have another birthday and I'll be 100. When I grew up, there were six kids in my family. And, uh, and we run by ourselves, just about every family, just, just barely made it. My father was a, was a, a nurseman and he, uh, he always had an income, but it come in in November. That was when the trees were delivered. So the money come in November. So he would go and buy like barrels of flour, bags of white beans, and bags of sugar and things like that to last a year because you didn't, you didn't have money coming in like we do now a job where you was having it come. It was just, you'd done well to make it. But uh, I had a good daddy and he always had, he always fed us. But it was, sometimes it was kind of hard. Well, um, like I told you the first time, the Henrietta and Nanny's love, they were just friends, and, and they went to church, and they passed the house all the time. And I watched their life develop and how well they lived and how happy they were. And then they then I got to go into church out on Short Mountain Street at the old church, one that burned. And uh, I just, just really liked it because I, I liked holding this anyway. I mean, I... As a child, I liked that. I started liking that in Detroit. But then I, we had a revival. And I remember that, w that they prayed with me the night that I was seeking the Holy Ghost. That I had wore everybody out at church, except about six or seven people. And it was about one o'clock in the morning when I was laying flat on my back on the floor under a pew, just me and the Lord having a great time, just talking and laughing and and going on. And that's when I found the Lord. That was the sweetest talk I ever had with anybody was when I was laying on that floor. And I've been happy ever since. I was 50, because I'd been going to what church I went to. I went to the Methodist. My whole family was Methodist. But I, but I found out there was more to it than what the Methodist taught. And I, I made it a habit then to go to the Pentecostal church, and I've been going ever since. I was 16 when I got married. And... Never did, I never did regret one, one minute of it. We was, we was married, I think it was 32 years. And I went back after I married and finished high school. I was a junior when I married. And now I, I went back and finished to get my diploma. Well, I didn't go to college, but I took, I went back to school another year of typing and took typing because my husband was county court clerk and I thought he'd need somebody maybe to help him or something. So I thought, well, I'll type because I did, they didn't give typing when I went. So I went back and finished that. I had a year of typing. He and my brother decided they would build a, a service station. So that's what what's down on the corner on 70 is, is the service station that they built. And we've been in that for ever since then. A very long time. It's been a long time, about 50 years. But I've had, I've had a good life. I've enjoyed it. I've had, I mean, it's not been no easy job because there's been times, the years that I've gone through, y'all probably don't know nothing about it. 
But sometimes we wouldn't even have money to meet the bills. You had to struggle. And we had many times like that. It wasn't all easy. And then we've had some, you know, real good times. So it's been mixed. And uh, then the grandchildren come along, that finished. <laughs> Uh, I never thought of a hundred. Well, my advice to anybody, age, whatever age, especially as you get older, don't go in the house and sit down and do nothing. Keep busy. Like those saying is, keep pushing. Sometimes you might not feel the best, but still go, do it, whatever. Don't, don't give up. Well, that service we had, was it Sunday? That one, that praise, all that good praise and people uh, receiving the Holy Ghost and all of that, that's my, when I was able and everything, I used to pray with people at the altar. That was an enjoyment to me, was praying with people and seeing them get the Holy Ghost. Because you just absolutely get it over. You get the Holy Ghost over when you sit pray with somebody else. And I really enjoyed that. <laughs> well, I should be because I've roller skated a lot in my life. Back when I was a child growing up, we skated from, from the courthouse to, the, to Shiny Rock. That's about five miles in the highway because there weren't enough cars that would hinder you at all back then. So we, we used the highway. Didn't have sidewalks. The Titans, I enjoy the Titans. But I don't like them if they're losing. I'm a winner, it has to be winning. Well, I don't know whether he wants me as a partner because I didn't hardly know what I was doing, but doctor, doctor, brother Cornelius, we we got we lost that night that we played, but I played we was playing a different roof than what I had been brought up to play in, and uh, you helped to beat us. You was the one that was the beat us. You and whatever his name is. Well, more than welcome. <laughs> I hope I did okay. I thought, well, what God does, he does a good job. And I want to praise him for it. <laughs>